Welcome back to my channel Irene Discovers. Well, it is that time of the year. There is a new immersive experience in town. This time it deals with one of the most important and famous archaeological discoveries of all time. The discovery of Tutankhamun and Tutankhamun himself. Um, again, if you like my videos and please subscribe to my channel and like this video and if you like leave me a comment. Um, so without further ado let's start the discovery. This immersive experience is again at the Markshalle and runs until the 21st of January 2024 with ticket prices between 25 euros on weekdays and 29 euros on Saturdays, Sundays and holidays. The exhibition offers both an AR and a VR experience. The first thing you see is the sarcophagus of Tutankhamun with the famous mask. It gives a glimpse of how enormous the tomb is. Next to information about ancient Egypt is a family tree which ended with Tutankhamun. Essentially, his family brought major changes to Egypt, like the change from polytheism to monotheism that caused great controversies. Tutankhamun was just 10 years old when he came to power. Right after the introduction comes the immersive experience. In the beginning, it deals with the discovery of the tomb by Howard Carter in 1922. The sarcophagus was opened in 1925. The images of this part of the exhibition are really cool. What irritated me though was the old voice of Tutankhamun. I mean, he was 19 years old and there he sounds like a man of 60. I was constantly thinking why and asked myself. For that reason, maybe there was something I didn't understand. And yes, only later after reading the press release did I realize that this was Howard Carter talking.
The AR experience followed the immersive experience. This part was quite cute and of course without using the tablet it looks a bit boring. The VR experience. For some reason, looking at it from the outside, this always reminds me of the movie Cypher. At the end, there is a cafe and a gift shop. I was not sure whether I went at the time when there were not that many people, but the whole exhibition felt a bit empty. I think maybe if they had put more intro also about Howard Carper and the discovery prior to the immersive experience, the whole message might have been clearer. So, as a conclusion, I really liked the experience. Um, I must say you need to really uh, do everything, like the AR experience, the immersive experience, the VR experience, and then you get a pick a picture and if you like at the end there's a photo booth uh, like at the Mozart, a Mythos Mozart and um, all in all it took me about one hour but of course it can take you longer. Um, I mean let's face it compared to Frida Kahlo or Monet uh, we are dealing with somebody who lived more than 3000 years ago uh, and was just 19 as when he died so of course you cannot know as much about him as you know about Frida Kahlo or Monet uh, but still uh, I really liked it and I thought that it helped me to get more interested into this topic of ancient Egypt and I just find it fascinating that uh, what they did, what they built uh, so many years ago and you can still see it and there are some people that can even reconstruct what happened. Um, I mean, for me, I, sometimes I cannot even reconstruct what happened last week. So um, all in all, I can recommend it. Um, I think especially for Christmas, uh, it would be a nice idea to, to uh, uh, visit that exhibition. Uh, so. Uh, Anyhow, uh, let's see you next time. Bye.